in today's video, I'm going to take one character and I'm going to character swap him into 10 different TV shows. So first things first, we got to start sketching. We have to get some sort of reference on here to look back towards for the rest of the video. So obviously we got to draw Patrick Starr in his original state. Now with Patrick, this is going to be a challenge because Patrick isn't, let's just say a human. I got to change a starfish into 10 different TV shows. Now that is going to be a challenge, but I am always looking forward to a challenge. I decided to go with this reference for Patrick because it just gives off Patrick vibes and I really like it. So yeah. Now we're going to start outlining and there's not much outlining to do for Patrick since he already has a pink outline. So there we have it. We have Patrick done now and that's going to be our first style complete. Now I'm going to start drawing Patrick in Rick and Morty style. Now with this challenge, I can't just take a character from Rick and Morty and then just give it Patrick features. I got to try and imagine Patrick in the show and use the style that Rick and Morty has to implement and try to get Patrick to look like he was already in the show. I decided I'm going to give Patrick some portal shorts. Does anybody actually know what those dots are on Patrick? If you do, leave a comment down below because I have no idea. So in today's video, I'm going to call them birthmarks, I guess. <laughs> so I gave him bigger birthmarks because that just looked like the Rick and Morty style, in my opinion. Now I'm going to be drawing Patrick in the Simpsons style, which has been highly requested within my polls and in my shorts on YouTube so far. I was like, I can't turn Patrick yellow. So what can I do? I decided to take a lighter shade of pink and give him a nose because it's Simpson kind of, I, I don't really know. What do you guys think? I also decided to give him an ear and Patrick doesn't have ears. So yeah, I rate this like a five out of 10 so far. So I don't, I don't really know. You guys got to let me know what style you think is going to be the best within this video. Maybe after we outline it, it might look a little better. Who knows? But how do you think I did with the Simpsons effect? I think with the background added, it looks better. Anywho, we are on to the next style, which if you can't tell already, you didn't have a childhood. Anywho, <laughs> this is the Minions. And once again, I can't do a yellow Minion. I'm going to have to compromise and do another pink. We will do light pink once again. Yes. And I decided to change the patch on his overalls to a P because it is Patrick. And this style was actually really fun to draw. Do you think I made him look like a minion? I think so. Once I get the outlining done, I think this will pop off and it will look really great. The goggles was the hardest part in this drawing, but I had to give him one eye bigger. I think it looks like Patrick. All right, we are on to the fifth style and it was also highly requested. And also very difficult. This is going to be Patrick in South Park. Now, if you've ever watched South Park, you got circle heads. You got small bodies. And that is very difficult to do with Patrick since he's a fat, fatter character and doesn't really have a circle head. But we're going to make do with what we can do. Does it kind of look like Dragon Ball Z? I don't know. Now, you guys can tell what I'm doing just by looking at it this far. If you don't know what this is, <laughs> once again, you probably didn't have a childhood. This is the Lego effect. Now, I didn't really do much besides sketch this since there's already a Patrick Lego out there. And I just drew it. Maybe that's cheating. Maybe it's not. 
Now, what do you guys think? Because this was extremely difficult. I didn't really know how to make it shine and look like a Lego. And the background, I didn't really know what to do for the background. So you're just going to have to see what I came up with. Now, I think I'm doing pretty good with the highlights and the, the shadows. But yeah, ta-da! So I gave him like a Lego background. <laughs> this has got to be my favorite so far. And this is number seven. If you don't know what it is, this is going to be the Tim Burton style. With the Tim Burton style, it is very crucial that you choose your color palette right. You want to use very dull colors. And with his style... Everything kind of looks creepy and freaky, so I think I kind of did that right. This has got to be my favorite so far, just because I've always liked the Tim Burton style. But, do you guys think I did good? I mean, it's definitely creepy. Anywho, let's go on to another fan favorite, Family Guy, which... I think I made his skin color a little too dark, but I was trying to go with the figure. And since Family Guy likes to make their dumber people cross-eyed, I decided to do that as well. I didn't like that one as much. But let's go on to Adventure Time. Now, Adventure Time has very curvy lines. And so to incorporate Adventure Time, I really wanted to give him like a hunchback and a big gut and you gotta let me know if you think this looks like adventure time I think so anywho let's go on to the last style and this is gonna be gravity falls since you know I kind of made a commitment with Mirazki to do gravity falls I should probably at least stick to it and do one of these Patrick's in a gravity falls style Maraski, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I've been slacking, but here, here's a Gravity Falls Patrick. Now that we got these all done, I'm going to go and outline the whole drawing just so it looks finished and complete. I want you guys to comment a number 1 through 10, and 1 being the original Patrick, and 10 being the Gravity Falls. Like, which one was your favorite? Mine was number 7, and that was Tim Burton. Let me know if there's a different character you would want to see me draw in 10 styles. Or maybe a different style you would like to see me draw next. I was really hoping to get to a Dragon Ball Z style, but that'll have to be the next video. Bye guys!